Hi guys! So I'm super excited. We're about to go to St. Augustine. I am just um, about to get a coffee first and then I'm going to head to my sister's and pick up my mom. It's about like four hours away from where I live so it's definitely going to be a fun road trip. Going to Boho Beautiful's Positive Movement Tour. I've been looking forward to this tour for I don't know since they announced they were doing it. It's like super like blustery here in Florida right now. It's definitely the most fall day we've had so far which is awesome. Should be a beautiful day. Coffee time. Here we are at the Hotel Casa, what? Casa what? Casa Monica. St. Augustine. It was an amazing trip. Although it was short, it was fun and full of adventure. My mom is definitely an awesome travel buddy. We had such a great time. Our first stop was at the Boho Beautiful Positive Movement Tour at Now and Zen Yoga Studio. I walked into the studio and I was kind of like, okay. It was mat to mat and there was a ton of people. So my mom's not a yogi and I didn't want her just kind of, you know, trying to occupy herself for the next two hours. So I said hello, introduced myself. Mark and Juliana are such beautiful people. They are just like full of positive energy and good vibes. I was so happy to meet them. I actually gave Juliana one of the kimonos I make. I um, really hope you like it, Juliana. Hopefully it's your style. Um, they had t-shirts for sale as part of the tour, so I ended up getting a blue one. They have blue and gray, but I just love this color. I'll show you what it looks like. It was so great. I am so happy that I got to meet them and got to experience it. Our next stop, we went out to the beach. My mom had actually never seen the Atlantic in Florida. It's just loud and wavy and awesome. It's crazy how much power the ocean has. Ferocious, it roars. It's just awesome. 
We stayed at the Hotel Casa Monica and it was beautiful. If you're planning a trip to St. Augustine, I highly recommend this hotel. It was stunning. It had beautiful artwork everywhere. Um, there is a restaurant, there is a bar, there's a Starbucks. It's literally everything that you need right there. St. Augustine has a real old European feel. It just has like cobblestone streets and it's very um, narrow when you go throughout the streets. There's actually a main road that's just all for pedestrians, so that's really cool. One thing I noticed in St. Augustine was the amount of damage that they sustained from the hurricane. Here in Tampa Bay, we were incredibly lucky to just dodge that bullet. We were out of power for a few days. That was really the worst that happened though. There wasn't too much damage. People literally don't have their homes anymore. And it's just really sad to see so much damage. It just really made me think about gratitude and being grateful that I do have a roof over my head. I have somewhere to call home. I just really hope they can all get back into their homes as soon as possible. My mom and I are planning on going to Colorado in a few weeks for Thanksgiving. I'm so excited to see what kind of plant-based restaurants they have in Denver. I'm so excited just to hang out there. So I'm very excited to bust out some of those fall sweaters and jackets. And I'm going to be doing a video of all the looks I'm going to take with me. Definitely check that out if you're interested in style and fashion. Well, thank you for watching my video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you have a beautiful day full of beautiful things. And I'll see you next time. A lot of times when I have longer shirts like this, I like to tie it up. I just think it's really cute to give it that cropped look. Just another cute way to style it up, show a little bit of your waistline off if, you know, you're into that sort of thing, but it's cute long too.